Hey everybody, welcome to a surprise Subnautica stream. Um, we'll go in here in just one moment. I think my audio is still off here. Hold on a second. There we go. Get all the delightful Subnautica sounds. Beautiful. Okay. So what I've noticed is if I, when I log in, the power is like the last thing to load. So it is like, is like always the oxygen offline and then it pops back on after it loads. Um, how are we doing on this? Nothing here. Okay. Um, and so we end up with the situation of, we could have potentially have the place cave in while it's loading. I feel like, which would be very, very bad. I feel like, but close that. Okay. So no, we don't have a ton of water, uh, food. I'm not going to worry about. Let's get these batteries charged up again here. And we'll head over to our, uh, our hidden spot in the uh, Grand Reef we found where we can get access to that alien place. Um, we have uh, the orange tablets on the sea moth already, I think. So we just need to bring that with us and we should be good then. Let's go take a look and see if anything hatched over at our little containment unit over here. It's not hatched yet. We just threw it in there recently though. Look at all this. So much life in there. So I'm trying a new monitor setup tonight. And I just bought some mounts and now everything's screwed up. I thought it was like where my mic is positioned. It's all backwards. So if you hear me kind of like fade off, that means I looked way too far to the right here and I'm way over here now. So you can hardly hear me. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen too often. But if I look over at the chat, then I am going to lose my microphone. Yeah, I need to get a better, better position for both of these things. So when I'm turning into the chat, then I'm turning into the microphone to be better that way. Um, yeah, it's housekeeping. Um, what else do we need? I need water, obviously, but we can probably grab a couple of bottles from down here too. I'm not going to worry about food because there's fish everywhere to eat. That's not going to be a problem. This thing doesn't produce as much water as I hoped it would. Of course, the bottles it does produce are like 50, so that's great. Take one of you guys with us just so we can fill up our water right before we leave. 14, okay. And let's make sure all the tools are ready to go here. Sea lead's good. Stasis is good. Everything's good here. Scanner's not great. That's fine, though. Cutting tool's fine. Flashlight's fine. I think we're good. All right. Um... Yeah, power's holding, not holding up. We gotta get a better power system in here eventually. That'll be later. That kind of housekeeping stuff we can do later on. So it's a nice stream that the uh, order of operations here, we're gonna be doing uh, this for about another hour, I think. And then I think by that time, Beetle and Jesse should be ready to do some Sea of Thieves, which would be pretty exciting. I haven't played it with three people before, so it'd be pretty cool. Uh, they have not played it much as far as I can tell. I think Jesse might've played it some. I think Beetle's brand new to it. Um, so that'd be kind of, that'll be kind of interesting. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be all right. I think it will be still not getting this microphone just right. Okay. I think we're okay now. I'm going to just put this cord up here. Okay. Again, so it's still adjusting. I just did this like an hour before stream. Kelpo gaming. How's it going? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm excited to go check out this alien alien area here. Hopefully we can find our way back. That's the big question. Uh, okay. Fully charged, fully healed. I think we're as ready as we're ever going to be. Uh, let's do it. And then once we get this launched, I'm going to pop into the... I'm just going to pop into the storage here. Make sure we have everything we need with us here. We have the two keys. We can throw this in there too, just in case. Um, and it's extra food and extra healing if we need it. Let's put this extra water in there too as emergency water. We'll keep these waters with us and uh, we'll eat this right now. There, gets almost to full here. All right, we're off. All right, so we are headed to orange tablet needed is that way. Okay, so I'm going to go that direction ish. We'll find the Grand Reef this direction, I believe. 
and did I just hit something? It did damage whatever it was. A large something. Is this a wreck we've never explored before? Like this close to our house? Yeah, we've no, we've been in there. It's not marked. Okay. Uh, I don't know even know where the Cyclops is these days. It's over at the other place here. So we went to the Grand Reef, which is opposite completely where we went in. We went in by uh, one side of the Lost River, came on the other side here. This is not where we need to go, really certain. I think. Oh, we might not be going the right way at all. I'm not seeing anything we normally would see. Well, we'll see. I mean, where are we? Blood kelp. Okay. I just can't see anything right now. It's very dark times here. Well, there's some blue lights ahead of us. Okay. This is definitely going the right way now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're going the right direction now. We just got to find the entrance way. This is, there was an entrance way here someplace to the Lost River. This is the trench. This is close, I think. These kind of things here. Gotta go deeper somehow. We're already at 400 though. This looks this looks promising. Uh, this is I don't know if we've ever been over here before. I think this might be it. Well, if anything, we're someplace we've never been before. Okay, this is it. This is it. We've, we've made it. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Oh, there's this guy, though. Yeah, he doesn't like us much at all. So mad. So mad about it. There's two of them over here. Uh, where can I put it? Where the, Park this where they won't get me or try to attack this thing. Is this guy still chasing me? He is still chasing me. Holy cow. Okay. Um... I'd rather not contend with the mano a mano, but uh, I need to park this someplace where he's not going to mess with the, with the boat. He's a little jittery down here all the time, too. I think this has got a lot to load right now. All right, I think we've left their area for the most part here. First time watching. Oh, well, welcome, Kelpo. Welcome to the stream. Thursdays, or Thursdays my normal stream night. This is kind of an off night for me. Because, uh, my wife's out of town. Kids are sleeping, so might as well, might as well do it. Man, why are we in such weird frame rate down here right now? Well, I'm not going to worry about it too much here. We're still going over this way. We got to make sure we can get in here, though, is the question. Oh, we don't, we don't have is the, the thing for this. He saw me, I think. Yeah, we're getting some bad frames down here. I don't like it. Inside the skeleton. Ooh, something is in there. Oh, okay, I can put it inside the skeleton? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I could park it inside of there. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. It's the perfect spot to park it. They won't mess with me in there. It's making thread this needle. It's very nice in here. Cozy. Really feng shui the place. All right, this guy better not mess with me. There we go. Okay. 
now we are oh we could park the we could park the thing in here alien bone specimen case so they were collecting stuff and just like, analyzing it in here okay that's kind of fun um i might need to go grab the uh Modi moth here yeah i probably should grab it and bring it in here i thought this would be kind of that protected uh where we start walking around again but we're gonna protect it in there so let's, let's grab it that way we don't have to worry about oxygen or anything like that we can take our time expanding leave me alone don't mind me i don't think you can fit through this doorway oh, oh can't can this boat fit through the doorway uh, just barely okay a couple of bounces but overall good uh repair up quick here perfect all right back to scanning here we got another case rib uh hmm fauna reproductive data extensive alien research data on local fauna with special focus on reproductive methods for conclusions uh aliens have discovered that life forms on the planet just have one sex they observed local organisms engaging in asexual reproduction all healthy individuals tested were capable of egg laying eggs usually require genetic material from another species so so this is, it just takes two two of the species but it's still not male females it's two any two cuttlefish on the table take a look there in a rare case, only one parent was required with evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself. Little fish on the table. Oh. Oh, this right here? <gasps> oh, yeah. First of all. Okay, nothing interesting there. Hmm. So we're analyzing things. So we're not so different, these guys, than us. Both both researching. Let's put our uh, our new buddy in here. And we'll go but we'll go home and hatch him later. So we have cubes. Is that doing good for us? Let's open this would what this would open. Or something. Hmm. That guy just said hmm also. <laughs> so there's another door that we is that that's all that was in here? I can't believe that. I've never scanned a ruby before. I find that uh, find that hard to believe too. That can't be all that's in here. I mean, yeah, the cuttlefish is a worthwhile thing, but like that orange tablet was super duper rare. Thirty seconds. Hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a cool it's a cool room. But I just wish that I thought there's gonna be more in here. Means we're back to exploring around here. I'm doing great, DMJ. How are you? Yeah. Disappointing. We didn't really learn anything to advance the cause here, as far as uh, a cure. Very much infected. Hmm. Yeah, I got ion cubes. That's something at least. That's true. 
I had some of those already, though. I'll throw them in here. Keep her cuttlefish company. You can drink this now, I think. Alright. Okay, well. We already downloaded all the data from... So the data we got from that was just about... The only data we got was like how the species of this planet reach to reproduce. That's it. That's all we got. Welcome aboard, Captain. So... Cuttlefish worthwhile, but not quite what we had in mind here. Okay, so let's grab this beacon back here now. Oh, I want to grab it. We don't need that anymore. Let's get out of here, though. He's coming. He's coming fast. Let's go explore around here some more, then. I guess because there's obviously something else we're missing down here. Let's get back to that like. Bone, like art, like a uh, fossil area. I mean, this is one of the fossil areas, but the uh, tooltip said, "Yeah, we seen, we saw, we saw the ghost of Leviathans last time, and they are quite scary." We went through the whole fossil area over here, and. Uh, the tool, the, the uh, data in our PDA says that we're looking for a fossil area 800 meters deep is where the where the thing is. And we actually found that one place and we couldn't actually open anything there. This is this is the wrong way though. We want to stick to the Lost River, I think. So that's where we found the original thing there. We couldn't really do anything with it though. I don't know if I've seen the adult ones yet. I think we've maybe even encountered one. We didn't get very close to it though when we saw it. The juveniles we were right up close with. I don't know if I saw the adult though. If we did, it was at a distance for sure. I didn't want to like get close enough to find out. Grab that. I always need more of these at the house. So we're back to this guy again, then. It's the wrong way again, then. All right, we're back this way. On the edge of the map? Okay, I guess we have not seen one of those, then. Yeah, because I never really, I never really, I don't think I've really ventured out into the, the spaces uh, between like that, the out, out, outer edges of the map like that. Usually Thorn is here warning me not to do that. I think this is the right way. Yeah, there's our, there's one of our ghosty friends. Yeah. Okay. So we were over here, and then we went. We saw uh, there were some alien pillars that we followed. I don't really want to mess with you guys either. Where do we see those pillars? It was like over here, I thought. Yeah, we must have only seen the juvenile ones then. It's a bad pop in the night too. Okay, there's the pillars. So this is what we found before. We couldn't find a way to get into this thing. At all. There's nothing to scan. There's no entranceway, as far as I could tell. Maybe in a new 
new light we can see something better but i don't know i circled the whole thing a bunch of times we went underneath looked up nothing to do with it there's no way in then there might not be i mean not there was there was no way into the other alien facility we saw And this says it came from above, but there's nothing like it fell. It said it fell. But this has to be it. Like it, it matches the description exactly. Let's go take a look quick at our PDA here again. Hey, Thorn. So our PDA had alien terminal data. Uh, nope. Horseman platform. Where was it? Not that. Not that. Where the heck was that again? Now we're going to be missing it forever again. There should be a way in? Okay. I'm gonna keep looking then. You must be missing it. Cause this, it, it hits the, it was, it was 800 meters deep, which is exactly where we're at right now. In a fossil area. And it was the other recommendation. I forget what the other thing was. There was another one that was 1,200 meters deep. That's definitely not this. Let's check everywhere here. Leaving no stone unturned now. Look up. Not in here. Look up above. I figure out where we came from when we originally when we went up to this place. I hate you guys. I hate you so much. Oh, not under the base. All right.
Yep. Warpers are the worst. Okay, so this is where we came in. Because there's, there's the uh, pylons there that we went past. I hear him. He's close again. Not underneath. Go higher. Oh, here we go. Oh, finally. There it is. Yeah, it was tough to find. Now, I don't know how far we should get into this without with our Seamoth. That guy doesn't want me in here at all. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Hmm. Well, whatever, whatever they're trying to keep in here. This looks like a kind of a cage, right? We scanned these before? Can't scan them, okay. It's a large egg. Sea dragon egg. Well, let's get to our let's get to our uh sea moth here before we start reading stuff. So I'm not wasting oxygen. Welcome aboard, Captain. You under probably fauna? To, like just search so it was a sea dragon egg and that was the gigantic thing we were seeing down there was the sea dragon crabs crab squid egg discovered okay interesting is that what we oh is that what we okay so that means it, it hatched back at home is that's what we have floating around our place now. We have a crab squid floating around our tank now. Great. Great. Loco, welcome. Sierra, the sea dragon egg. Large egg held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Oh, so it won't ever hatch. Okay. Um, and let's to study the egg laying and incubation process. Okay. So what end is unclear? Yeah. Ray specimens? Ray specimens? Ghost rays, jelly rays, crimson rays, rabbit rays? Common evolutionary ancestor, the alpha ray. While deep in the ocean trench, it's quickly growing with available food su supplies. It would have most resembled the ghost ray in size and appearance. Translucent skin for camouflage and forward mounted eyes for hunting. Cool. Oh, there's something. Let's get back out before we read that. New PDA data. Let's get back over to our Modi Moth. Oh, can we can actually find a sea dragon? Holy cow. Okay. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing in at high speed. Exterior cable impact with massive force, exterior anchor system buckling, facility sinking. Collision with sea floor breaches detected in a containment unit seven Leviathan eggs, so that explains why there's so many Leviathans, uh, ghost Leviathans hanging around here. Maybe immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. Three four hundred fourteen specimens destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. Is that our? Uh, is that our? Uh, is that our? Um, our guy we just found our egg. Uh, Thorn, you were you weren't here, but we found ourselves the cuttlefish. He's right here. Is he the one specimen that survived? Or are they talking about the, the uh, egg? Oh. Spinefish. Interesting. Okay, so. Look around in here some more. Hmm. Oh, okay. Still to remains.
Let's check that in a second here. I don't want to read and waste oxygen. Back here. See you, DMJ. Oh, they're talking about me. Maybe. Oh, it's already seen it for okay. If we release this guy to kill him and eat him, see what it tastes like. That's good eating. Not bad. All right, we'll keep our eyes out for that too. Oh, can I get this guy closer? I might be, I might be able to get this thing closer in. I feel I hate growing to have to run back for this all the time. I think I could thread it right here. Oh, yeah, a little bang up, but it's not bad. Not quite, but okay. All right. We have to run back so far. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Huh. Biological matter. Of what? Warper parts? So... As we suspected, the aliens here aren't the warpers. The warpers are indigenous species here. The aliens here are not. That's why they're studying everything. Possibly? Hmm. Here we go. Also, I was going to check out that data entry here. So the environment just constructed the house of specimen suggested was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months, even years. Wow. So this kept it down here alive, but to study it. Organic matter indicates the habitat was once extensive plant life, though it's since decayed. Uh, it shares sickle trait with the biter and land shark, so it's like a gigantic land shark, or a sand shark rather, not land shark, sand shark. Yeah, with the with the dual eyes like that. Okay. Species likely gone extinct in the past thousand years. Okay. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. All right. I'm, I'm scared to look. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Cool. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Yeah, we're going to be in rough shape here soon. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, we're in very rough shape here. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Why'd you take your gloves off like that? All of a sudden, he took his gloves off. Like, don't take your gloves off. Leave them on, especially if they look like that. Nobody wants to see that. So they made the warpers. Interesting. All right, head back out. I think we got where we came for. Oh, we didn't read what the entry was for the uh, infection report here. Yeah, looks great. 
You have been inspected with a previous unknown waterborne bacterium currently multiplying your bloodstream. Incubation time two weeks. So it didn't start really having a problem until later. Uh, immune system is currently combating the infection with low efficiency. You're already experiencing flu-like symptoms. Skin irritation exacerbated. The bacterium takes hold. Salvage further alien research data on possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms that have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhabit this uh, inhibit the symptoms of the infection. Okay, so we got to figure out what here doesn't get infected, so we can uh, keep ourselves alive. And once we cure the bacteria, the uh, enforcement platform should let us leave. We'll no longer be under quarantine here. Ah, look at that. So yeah, this is the door that uh, Kelpo was talking about. And we got our tablet, right? Oh, it's in here, it's in here still. Good thing we brought one. Now, if we have to do another one here, I don't know. I don't know how many more we have left of these. Specimen research data. PDA data. Small herbivore gamma entity entry seems to reference common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death caused commonly occurs within four days. So not them. Leviathan embryos. Adults too large to study in containment. Egg specimens required for nesting site. Embryos show nice and no signs of immunity. Death occurs within three weeks. Okay, so nothing's as, even as good as me here. Off-site lab for carnivore theta. Established the study remains shows some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far prove insufficient for full reconstruction. So large carnivore theta, an unidentified leviathan. This leviathan species is designed as a sea emperor. Bone samples from sea emperor specimens indicate some potential for cara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose-built location facility constructed in a volcanic region 1.4 kilometers deep. Oh, that's pretty deep. Assessment, while it's unlikely that the Emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the alien's attempts to develop a vaccine. So we need to head to seconds. we need to head to a uh, volcanic region very, very deep. I think the prawn suit's the only thing that can get that deep. Yeah, so we have to get that thing upgraded to get to 1,200 meters. 1,400 meters, if possible. So we can at least get down there and explore around. Um, so that'll be the next step. We just got to find the region that it would be in. Volcanic region. Where have we encountered a volcanic region? Hmm. There was one that we found near our place. It wasn't that volcanic, though. Stay away from me. You did it again, didn't you? Get back here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, jeez. Okay, you don't like it. I don't like it. This 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 this, this be bygones, be bygones here. Okay, man. I'm gonna go this way. You're gonna go that way. Put me way over here. Like, how did you get me this so far away? Bronze can go up to 2,000. Okay, so we gotta get some upgrades for that. Um, and I think we have a couple of upgrades we need. First of all, to have, we have the... I think we have the means now for the uh, thruster upgrade. No. Whatever's going on right now, but no. I think we have the means for the thruster upgrade for it. Like a jet uh, jetpack upgrade for it, which will definitely help the mobility for it. Um... And then... We just got to go depth after that. I don't know if we have all the depth available for it yet. Now we got to get back out of here. I guess the easiest way would be back towards the uh, Grand Reef. If I could find my way over there. 1700? Okay. Still deep enough. Everything it described so far has been 1200 to 1400. Volcanic activity is the one question I don't have. I don't have an answer to though.
there was some spots that had volcano stuff near our uh that that, sh that shore near the enforcement platform near beacon three um other base are you have i scanned you before i scanned you before i think let's assume yes now there is a ghost in here someplace but i think if we stay close to the ground we should be okay Here he comes, actually. Here he comes. Just gonna keep eyes on him quick here. I don't know. Oh, here he comes. Okay, we'll be safe inside of the mouth of this beast. There's there's where we need to go, though. Just gonna wait for him to lose interest. can't see him that's concerning there he is all right we got to do our old-fashioned trick here uh yeah. hmm yeah i'm trying not to get spoilers too much but Time to go. I mean, hints are good. I like the ways people have been doing hints. Not out and out spoilers. Not like go do this and then do this and then do this. That's been mostly the fun way of doing it. It's just kind of. If for certain things that I need help on, or like subtle hints and that kind of thing are always great. I don't mind those at all. Like the thing about the door, that was that was fine. Chances are I would have found it, but a helping hand is appreciated sometimes. Okay, I think we're yeah, we're back in the Grand Reef now. Right. Oops, sorry, boomerang. Didn't mean to. Kind of keeping an eye on uh, chat to see if uh, Beetle messages me. Uh, I don't know where he's going to contact me at all. He said 7.30 his time, which would be 9.30 my time. Here, warpers. I'm just gonna ignore them. I hear squid, crab squids. I'm just gonna ignore them. We're getting out of here. Um, pod seven had some heat near it. Yeah, I'm really loving this game. Uh, it is really good. I wish I wish I hadn't waited so long to play it. I came to this way way late. Um, started playing this. Whoa. Are we? Are these? I'll just be safe here. I don't think they're gonna be able to attack me, but you know, oh, they're just gonna keep moving around through. Actually, they're not even bothered by this thing. Sea treader. Okay. Indigenous life form sea treader. There's a lot of them. Holy cow! Cool. I don't not gonna get too close. Sorry. Sorry. Oh man. Yeah, I've owned the game since about like uh like year two of development. I've had it for many, many years, I've never played it. Where are you guys headed? They seem like just I don't know. Insectoid cows maybe? Well, you're protect. You're God. What did you do? We shooting stuff at me. That's not cool. That's not cool. Maybe I'm trying to trying to watch the migration happen. 
Yeah. God. I knew. I knew it. I knew it. Get out of here. Can't be trusted. They're defensive. Okay. All right. So I won't. I won't. I won't bug them. I'll just. I'll just uh, be a uh, Jane Goodall and be like you know. Grills in the mist over here. Sea treaders in the mist. Well, these ones are like fighting or something. Or they're bumping into each other. I can't tell. But this one's missing a leg, it looks like. Right? They have three legs or they have four four legs? I guess they have three legs. How odd. They have three. All right, so where's pod seven? That's the only place I could think of that we saw that had a lot of heat to it. It's red. Pod seven's there, ways away. Um, I feel like we should mark this though. Let's see if we can find these guys again. Are we at, like the edge of the world here? Is this one of those situations where I don't want to go further? Because uh we'd run into a ghost over here. And I don't want I don't want to risk losing the sea moth again. They dig stuff up. Are there like resources sitting around here? Well, there's quartz sitting back here. And there's some, there's some, some stuff to break. I don't want to get too close to them, but. Well, there's some shale back here. Yeah, they, they break up rocks for us. That's kind of fun. Well, I guess I should mark this then to come back here and collect resources, maybe. Save really quick. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> oh, I broke the game now. Interesting. Uh, let's get, let's get some, uh. No, I want food actually. And water. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, we're in good shape now. Save and go to the edge. Oh man. Where was the edge? Well, here's something else too. I don't think we're going the right way anymore. It's a good gigantic trench here. Yeah, this is this is the edge of the the ocean for sure here. Oh God. So he's a big one. Okay, we're safe. He can't get in here. Can we scan him though? I think we could. I think we could. Uh, first of all, let's repair this up. Where'd he go? Huh? Not that. He's out there someplace. 
He did a number on this thing. If we're careful, though, we could duck out, bring him back, just to scan him quick. Hit him with the stasis, maybe. We can hear him coming a mile away, right? There he is. Nope, missed him. Ugh. All right, I don't think we're gonna be able to get him scanned. We'll try one more time. It's way too fast. Maybe I gotta wait till he, uh... It's just little me out here. They don't care about me, they want the ship. There he is. Oh, they just, they just phase right through me. Come on back. Come on back. And they also go through walls, it seems like, too. I, maybe I shouldn't be messing with these guys like this. Oh, here he comes again. Here he comes again. Get ready for the scanner. Come on back, man. I was ready for you this time. One spawns every 30 seconds. go can't scan it doesn't like it he doesn't like it swimming with the ghost leviathans okay I left I've lost the plot here now I don't even know where my thing is I don't, okay god there it is okay <laughs> I'm gonna get this thing scanned one way or another here I'm gonna start all over on this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Hunter, okay, I'm out of here. Uh. Okay, 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 we made it. Woo. All right. That's fun. Hey, <laughs> that was very good. All right, so don't go over there again. Oh, we did get scanned. Oh, there's, there's warpers over here. I, will, I, wait, I gotta wait. Wait till we're in some more relative safety here. But, yeah, volcanic activity. Have we been over here before? It doesn't have to look like we've been here before, actually. I think it's too deep. I don't think we've been here. Nope, we've been here. Okay. I guess we have. All right. Um. All right. So if I go to pod seven. You can see if there's anything that way. We're not too far away from it. <sighs> I'm 
drill arm fragments. I got the drill arm already. There's another one. That one's the youngin though. Okay, here we go. Volcanic activity. Well, this is as good a bet as any. So like deep here, like way, way down here in the Grand Reef, maybe. I'm not seeing any more volcanic activity over here though. I mean, we have to put someplace way, way deeper than where we've been ever, basically. We want batteries. Uh, not doing great on battery. I did bring an extra one though, didn't I? Uh, I thought it did. Oh, uh, we might have to cut this short then. Okay. I did not bring extra battery. You get out of here. We gotta head back. We gotta head back. Really? Yeah, we headed back to Jeff here. But. How far away is Jeff? Pretty far. All right, let's, re let's repair then. Lost forest. So really, really deep. And I don't know if we've ever been to Lost Forest before. But it's like Lost River, right? It's someplace deep that we've never been. Until you get there. So, okay, what we got to do? Volcanic activity, it says. And that was the best bet we had with it. Um, how far do we end up being away from? So we're southeast of the... Pod 7. There's a Lost River Ghost Tree that way. So it makes sense that there'd be something over here then. Not this, this tier specifically. Words are tough. Hey, Beetle. All right, let me get back to Jeff here and we'll go switch over to Sea of Thieves probably. If Beetle is all ready. Entrance in, okay, so the entrance is in the Lost River then. We just got to figure out where in the Lost River we need to go to. Okay, that's, that's, yeah, that goes down. Lost River seems to be like kind of the, the, the end game, uh, hotbed of activity. Because you can't get there without, you know, significant resources and, uh, stuff. There's Jeff lighting up the night sky. Water. Whatever. Pass the Dead Sea Dragon. Okay. Alright. Let's plop this in here. Let's take a look at what our upgrades for the... Uh, what kind of depth upgrades we need for this guy. So, we never found Nickel. I wonder if it would be better to go back by those sea treaders and try to get some more, get some nickel. I don't know where we can go for that. We need nickel for this, this jump jet upgrade too. Unless that's a deposit. You know, there were deposits near the edge of the map that we saw that I never really even looked at what they might be. Maybe that was it. We have the crystalline sulfur already. We have lithium, we have titanium. The, the nickel is the only thing holding us back. It's gotta be something like that. All right, well. Let's go drop off our buddy 
and check on our our crab squid. Oh, he's big. He's a biggin. They will get along so nicely in here, though. Oh, I don't want to be in here, though. So if we like take him, can we pick him up and take him out? That uh, the crab squid and then like put, release him into the wild. Nichols in the Lost River, okay. Next to the giant tree. So the ghost tree? Okay, so the ghost tree. Okay, so we know where that is then. All right. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I got a lot of fish, beetle. You know, and diversity here too. All right. Good luck, little buddy. We'll check on you later. Oh, he's ready. Look at him. He's just ready. He's already in there. We can see him already. Oh, he's already making, he's already like imprinting on us. He saw his mama. Mama. Okay. We're ready for him. That'll be so good. On TV? Yeah. I was, I was on TV. Get, getting on TV is easy. You just gotta wait for a news crew to show up and you just down to stand in the background. It's easy to get on TV. Do it like all the time. Don't even try. Alright. So, um, are we, uh, are are we uh doing see a thesis here, Beetle? What's your what's your status? Uh, I think it's fine. It's not too full. Schoolwork. Well, do you want to play Sea of Thieves then and leave him out? All right, we'll get that going here in a minute. Just want to get this active again. All right. All right, so we'll switch over to Sea of Thieves here, and uh, see what's going on with that. You just subbed to get a notification. I don't, I don't do the. Uh, you didn't get a notification at all. I didn't get a notification. Are you sure you did? I'm not. I'm not even sure you did. The myth. You last. You last subscribed 23 days ago. So if you're doing your if you're using your Twitch uh, Twitch Prime sub, I mean it, it, it didn't expire yet. I guess you grab the water out so it just keeps going with that. It's gonna take up all of our energy too. Okay, all right, whatever. Hey, I just didn't get a notification that you subbed. That's all. It happens. All right, uh, let's uh, switch over here, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get to see if these have been running here.
But you can hear me. Yeah.